I'm not like hugely social. I'm a, I have a little bit of social anxiety. So I kind of hang out in a corner by myself while all these other resellers are together and chatting and laughing. And I'm just sitting there in the corner, assuming everyone's making fun of me. It feels like high school. When in reality, nobody even knows I'm there. It's exactly like high school. Howdy y'all, my name is Gretchen and I'm the Restless Thrifter. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I sell clothes, home goods, stuffed animals, mostly clothes. And today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a thrift haul, which is when I share with you what I picked up to resell on those platforms, what they might sell for. And in this case, I don't even have a stack of items to show you. I'm gonna be showing you screenshots of my listings because I actually have some of these things listed. Let me know what you think about this format. It's just something new I'm trying because I kind of got ahead on things and normally I'm behind and I have this death pile that's awaiting me. Trust me, I still have one, but I did get some things listed. I went to the Goodwill outlet, which we call the bins in the reselling world because they're these giant bins of clothing that you dig through to pull out hopefully some good things um, to resell. And there are people who go there just to shop for themselves or whatever reasons, who knows what people's reasons are. But I would say 99% of the people in there are resellers who, who are looking for inventory. I went on December 27th and it was the Goodwill outlet in Denver off of Kearney. And that's probably my favorite one. I've only been to two out of three of the bins here in Denver and it's just ginormous. I picked up 50 things that day. So my average cost of goods was $1.40 per item that you're gonna see here. This first item is a really cute pair of overalls, Oshkosh Bagosh size, 12 medium, navy blue corduroy overalls, vest back, adjustable snap leg. I don't know a lot about clothes. Um, I mean, I don't know a lot about baby clothes. <laughs> Obviously I know about clothes, but baby clothes, I don't know. I do like to pick up vintage Oshkosh. I don't think this was vintage, but it's classic. They're corduroy overalls. So I have these listed for $10. They're listed on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. In fact, all of the things that I'm gonna say are listed are listed on all of those. <laughs> I don't know which platform I'll put the screenshot up for, probably eBay, but you could find it on any of those platforms. And if it's not listed in all three of those platforms, I will specify. This next one did have a good sell-through rate and good comps. It is a Talbot size large cardigan sweater, chunky wool alpaca blend pockets, shawl collar. I like to point out pockets when anything has them because you know you want a place to put your phone. And this is just a classic looking sweater. It did have some fuzziness and some wear. I sweater shaved it a bit, um, but you know, alpaca blend is just gonna do that as well. I included keywords like grandma sweater and chunky knit within the listing itself. And I have it listed for $35 on all three of those platforms. I'm going to be labeling these in Vindu and Vindu is the inventory system that I use to cross post to all of the platforms. Um, it has great metrics. It really helps me track my business and I'm going to be labeling everything in here with a, a unique keyword so that, that I can go back later and see how I did on this haul. This next item. So I'm a little surprised nobody else picked it up. It's a cool K U H L a good outdoors brand, size small, cowl neck sweater, textured knit, striped, long leaf, long length, long sleeve. I have it listed for $45. And Cool just has a really great sell-through rate. This retails for $89, so I priced it at about half. I liked the style, but I mostly picked it up for the brand. It's always done well for me. I did try to get a little bit more assertive in the bins. And by that, I mean, like I yelled at a couple of people who got in my space. One lady actually took something right out of my hand, like right out of my, I'm, I didn't even know if I wanted it yet. Picked it up, looking at it, and she pulled it out of my hands. And I said, you just took that out of my hand. 
And she said, oh, did you want it? And I said, well, no, but I hadn't had a chance. Like you took it out of my hands. And then another lady, so I was like, I'm going to get up there. Right when they say, okay, get your places and then shop, I'm going to be up there. And I did, and this lady like reaches across from me as soon as they say shop and grabs something. And I'm like, hey. And she said, what? And I said, I, I, you you're like bumped me. Like you ran it. Like I don't want people touching me. <laughs> she apologized. But these folks, you know, if they're not, if nobody says anything, they just think it's, acceptable behavior. It's ridiculous. All right, this next item, you guys tell me, what color does this jacket look? Does it look really, really, really yellow? Because if so, then I need to redo the photos because it's tan. It's a little goldish tone to it, yes, but it's not bright yellow. And this girl wanted to buy it and she was looking for something like a marigold. Trash truck. And so I was like, oh, she mentioned the yellow jacket. And I was like, okay, it's really tan. So I think I need to go and edit the cover photo on this. It's a universal thread size, medium gold tan corduroy jacket, new button up Western classic. New with tags. Yes, it's a Target um, brand, but it's a great classic jacket and it was new with tags. I'm not afraid to pick up Target. I have it listed for $25. All right, next item is... A Brooks Brothers 346 size medium polo PK knit tipped salmon pink white trim. That white trim, they call that tipped. I don't know. So I included that in case people like that style and want to look it up. This is just a classic. It was in really good condition and I have it listed for $30. Women's Brooks Brothers polos retail for $99. When I price, I'm always considering the fact that Almost everything of mine sells through an offer, either an offer I'm sending through eBay. I send several times a day. I'll go and look and see what's available if people have watched an item and I will send offers to watchers that way. And then Posture VA will send offers automatically for me. That's a Chrome extension that automatically sends offers after five minutes of somebody liking an item. You can set all of those parameters but I have it send an offer to likers with discounted shipping after five minutes of somebody liking it. I'm hoping that they're still online, still shopping, and it sends a good offer. It sends 20% off with discounted shipping. I do have some thresholds, so I have to make a certain amount on an item so that you know it's not sending 20% off of the really low priced items. And then on Mercari, I will send offers once or twice a day. I get less interest on Mercari, so I don't check it as often, but I'll send offers through Mercari as well. So, and then people send me offers. So I keep that in mind. I do pad my prices a little bit. This next item is an Old Navy plus size 4X tank swing blouse, new lace inset embroidered ruffle neck. It is new with tags. It is a beautiful color. It's plus size, which you guys know I love to carry. And, you know, I don't think a lot of people want to pick up old navy brands, but this top is going to sell. It's a great top. And I have it listed for $25. One of my favorite pickups was this Torrid Duster Length Cardigan. It's a Torrid size 0X Rust Brown Duster Kimono Cardigan Boho Festival Short Sleeve. And 0X doesn't do as well as the other plus sizes for me, but this was beautiful. This could be versatile for a lot of sizes. And I loved the color, this deep rust red. It's $70 retail. I have it priced at 40, which may be a little high, but I'm gonna see, it's gonna be a great spring item. I'll be revisiting all of these items in three months to see how I'm doing, because that is my goal is to sell things within three months. I actually relist all of my inventory every 30 days. Or I try to. I get very close to that. So that way everything is fresh for people to see and is getting in front of people again within 30 days. Now, I don't have a huge amount of inventory. I think I'm around 870 items right now. And I use Vindu to relist everything. So it isn't very time consuming unless I'm going through and like picking at my listings, which I do in some cases. Next item is a t-shirt. It's a life is good size extra large crusher tee. The ocean is calling v-neck short sleeve gray. 
it was in good condition and I've heard that this brand is well for folks. Um, it was a cute shirt, extra large. I have it listed for $18. Here we have another plus size item. This is a Lane Bryant plus size 1820 sweater dolman half sleeve striped v-neck. And the way I build my titles is I typically put brand, then size, and then if it's plus size, I will put plus size in there. Then I'll put the item, like what is the thing? It's a sweater. Um, and then I'll put descriptive things after it. So it's a dolman, half sleeve, it's striped, it's v-neck, those types of things. This was in good condition and I have it listed for $25. Next item, you're gonna say, you shouldn't have picked that up, Gretchen. This is a Madewell Pajama PJ Lounge Top Lonnie Rainbow Striped Oversize. It's just a pajama top, no bottom. But I actually looked this up, I got cell service. I, like, I lucked out and somehow was able to get onto the Goodwill's like work uh, Wi-Fi for a short amount of time before all of a sudden I needed a password. And it showed that these were selling just tops. So I'm like, okay, I'll try to sell it. And I knew it was pajama top because it says, keep away from fire. We only do that on sleepwear. I don't know why. I know why they do it with kids, but this is an adult's top. Okay. So I've got it listed on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari for $12. On Mercari, I do use smart pricing. So it may be $10 at this point, or it may still be $15. I don't know. I'll do a range like a plus or minus a couple of dollars. This t-shirt is really cute. And at first I was super excited. I'm like, oh, I found a vintage t-shirt. No, it is a replica of a 1991 US tour Guns N' Roses shirt. And I don't even know if it's a real replica or if they just have the tour dates on the back. But on the inside, it had Guns N' Roses as the brand and it had the date 1991. No, it had another date on it. What was it? 2016. It says Guns N' Roses 2016 Black Frog Entertainment. And then on the front, it says US Tour 1991. And on the back, it has all the tour dates. So I have Guns N' Roses T 1991 Tour Reproduction Factory Distressed Roll Sleeve T-shirt. And then I have in the listing, this is a reproduction of the 1991 Tour T. I want to make sure it's super clear that I, it's not a vintage shirt but it has a vintage look and it's really cute. And it does have these like roll sleeves that are kind of tacked down. Um, so I have this listed for $25. I actually didn't find any online that were like this. So hmm. this next item, I did debate whether I should bring this home, especially cause it was pretty heavy, but I can't leave Harris Tweed behind. And it was a cool coat. This really reminded me of Breakfast Club. Like I could see, what's his name? Judd Nelson's character wearing it. It did have some holes. It had some moth holes in it. And it's a vintage Harris Tweed wool trench coat, hand woven Scottish brown, gray flaws, big letters, flaws, but it's still a very cool coat. And the other day, Melissa High um, sent a, uh, was it a TikTok or it was something? And it had these ladies who were making Harris Tweed and they're singing and they're hard at work. And it just looked like a lot of work was put into making this. And so I'm like, I'm not leaving that behind. And I have it listed for $99. Reaching for the sky? I don't know. We'll see. All right, next I found two pair of Democracy size four camo jeggings. One's like a black camo, one's a gray camo. The first one I have Democracy size four pants, ab technology, side zip, camo jeggings, skinny leg jeans. And the other one's almost exactly the same, but they say absolution instead of ab technology. I really don't know if there's a difference between the two and if they just gave one a different name later on but I have them both listed for $25. Democracy has sold well for me in the past. Um, I tend to sell larger sizes in it than a size four, but these camo looked popular. Here we have athleticized small leggings, leopard elation, ultra high rise, tight, full length gray. Athleta leggings don't usually sell quickly for me. Um, I don't know why. 
These are the full length. I think full length sell better for me than like the capri length. They were in beautiful condition. I couldn't get a sell through rate while I was in this in the in the bins. But I did look when I get home got home and they were selling, which is great. I have them listed for $30. This is the first thing that has sold for me that I'm going over with you guys. Um, this is the North Face size XXL hoodie sweatshirt spell out never stop exploring blue. When I first saw this in the bin, I thought it was a fake because the North Face was not written in a font that you normally see. And in fact, it looked like to me like when you have a document and it's got a font, but your computer doesn't have that font installed. And so it just shows some generic font. It looked like that. And, but I dug around in it and it had the hologram in it. And when I got home, I was able to find this exact sweatshirt has sold before. Um, it was an XXL, great condition. I've sold it already. I had it listed for 30, but somebody sent me an offer for, oh, I think they started at 12. I got them to come up to 18. I took that. Another item that is already sold is this Ralph Lauren men's size 3XLT dress shirt, big and tall button down plaid check logo. Ralph Lauren polos, these, you know, traditional dress shirts always seem to be plaid. Anyhow, I don't sell them very easily unless they are a big and tall size. So I picked up two that were gorgeous at the bins that took like maybe two years to sell. So I was like, no, I'm not going to pick these up anymore. But I saw this one was a 3XL and it was a big and, big and tall as well. So it sold quickly, not for a huge amount. I had it listed for 30. Someone sent me an offer of 15 and I'm like, sure, I got it at the bins. Let's move the sucker. I had picked it up for the quick flip factor. So I wanted to flip it quickly. All right, next item. These jeans did not have a great sell through rate, but I didn't realize this until I got home. It was a risk picking them up. I could tell that they were low rise based on where the zipper and everything were. So maybe I should have left them behind. I mean, the rise is eight inches. That's not too low, but these are J crew matchstick size, 26 regular jeans, straight leg, low rise, medium wash, soft stretch. They were in great condition and some great J crew can do well. So I took a risk at picking these up and hmm, I have them listed for $15. This next is something else I would consider to be a bread and butter item. It's Banana Republic Factory Petites, size 2P, Sloan Slim Ankle Pants, Olive Green New. And it is a small size, it is a petite. It is only Banana Republic, which is a mall brand. So do I expect these to fly out of my closet? No, but I do expect them to sell. These were selling. I have them listed for $30. They're actually something that they're selling online currently. So you can buy them for $35 because they're on sale, but they are $90 retail. So because they were a current item, I went ahead and priced it kind of close to that sale price. And I don't always include factory in the title if it's a factory piece, but these are, I think, exclusive to Banana Republic factory. So if you are looking for this particular style, you know, you may be looking for that in the title as well. Let me know what you think. Do you pick up mall brands? Do you pick up petites? Do you pick up small sizes? And maybe I should call out like, would I have picked this up in the regular thrift? Probably not because they would have been priced at like $7.99 or if they saw that they were new with tag, they would have priced them like at $16.99. So no, I wouldn't have picked those up at the regular thrift, nor would I have picked up these next ones, which are gap size 26 short, perfect boot jeans, new boot cut dark wash factory distressing. Another new with tag item. I have them listed for 30. I do make a note that the sell through rate is 19% on these. So that's not too bad. Um, if I had seen that it had a 19% sell through rate when I was in the regular thrift, would I have picked them up? Maybe it depends on what the price was. I wouldn't have paid $8 for them, which is what they price most jeans at my thrifts creation. Y'all remember Weird Science? There was one summer where I watched that movie every single day. Every single day. 
it was on, I don't know, HBO or something. And my neighbors had it. Uh, my parents would not get HBO because it was, you know, too um, risque. My dad also canceled our cable once because of MTV because he didn't like what he was seeing on that. And, you know, my parents are not like puritanical. It's, <laughs> it's funny, but I would go next door and play with my friend, Melissa. Hi, Missy. I don't know where you are in the world today, but anyway, this Mormon family had HBO and I'm like, we don't have HBO. You can't even drink caffeine. <laughs> but we, I would go over to her house and we'd watch weird science every day and sneak a uh, cookie dough out of the bowl of cookie dough that her mom had always. She was always making chocolate chip cookies. But when you have eight children, you need to make a lot of cookies. And she made the best chocolate chip cookies. I am really getting off on a tangent. What was I talking about? Oh, this next item, the brand is called Plush Creations. And so then I started singing the song from Weird Science. All right, it's a Plush Creations 1994 hand puppet, 14 inch brown bear stuffed animal plush. I picked this up because it's a hand puppet. I do like to sell puppets. Um, they sell for me and this was vintage and it was an excellent condition. So I've sold this brand one other time. It was a gigantic bear that um, he wasn't a puppet, but he was a big old bear and he sold really well for me. This guy I have listed for $15. Obviously, some people have service in um, the bins and can look things up because this next item, I could tell that somebody had found them, looked them up and threw them back. Or maybe they didn't look them up, but they threw them back because they were not in their same bin where they would have come from. They, I think they were in a clothing bin. It was a cowboy a set of two cowboy and cowgirl dolls, unbranded Western retro stick horse. These were too cute. Um, I couldn't find anything on this, there was no markings that I could find. I didn't want to take off all their clothes because they were kind of glued on. And so I don't know where to find the markings. If you know where to find the markings, let me know. I have them listed for $15. All right, this next item, <laughs> I was at a loss for words for the title, but it's a hand knit croquet, burp bleep. It's a hand knit crochet kids winter beanie hat with face and curly pigtails, cute, fun. <laughs> Um, I believe this is a handmade item. It has no tags and it's just super cute. I didn't even know how to measure a hat and like what size to put. So I don't know. A beanie's a beanie, right? I have it listed for $20 because it's handmade. Somebody made this. I also found none like this or even similar. So maybe that means nobody wants it. I don't know. Found a couple of Disney Parks things. I like to pick up Disney Parks items. The first one is a Disney Parks Mickey Mouse Ears Santa Hat Adult Size Very Merry Christmas Party. I put that last part because I was running out of ideas for words to use. And they have the Very Merry Christmas Party every year. And so people might be looking for things to wear to that. These I have listed for $20. All right, another Santa Hat. This is Disney Parks Rare Goofy Ears Lighted Santa Hat Tested and Works Christmas Party. This, I mean, rare. I couldn't find very many comps, but I did find some solds. I did not see others listed. Did I? If I did, they were listed for $50, which is what I have mine listed for. And I have a video of this working. I haven't posted it yet. Um, I should do that. And another Disney Parks item is this Disney Parks Ewok Wicket Snuggle Snapper 9 inch plus. <laughs> Sorry, I almost said plus. Nine inch plush wrist slap bracelet hug toy. Um, this was super cute and seems to be a little rare as well. So I have it listed for $40. Um, I wanted to call it a slap bracelet or something. This item, beautiful mug. Somebody stopped me from keeping it for myself. It is a Blysdale pottery coffee cup mug, handmade multicolor microwave dishwasher safe. I could tell it was excellent quality. This is sold at, I don't know where else it's sold, but probably some gift shops in Colorado. Um, there was this mountain goods or whatever site that I found it on and it retails for $36, I think. And so I have it listed for 30. It's just beautiful. 
It's uh, four and a half inches tall and 16 ounces, and it is in very good condition. It's made in Durango, Colorado. Oh, microwave, dishwasher, and oven safe. I don't know why you'd put it in the oven, but if you did, it'd be okay. Whenever I find a vintage t-shirt or a cool hat, baseball hat, in the bins, I feel like I am so cool and I'm winning and that the young kids over there all grouped together missed out and this old lady found something. <laughs> Do you feel like that? I feel like that. Um, this is a Harley Davidson trucker hat size 2XL new era 5950 two-tone brand patch and it's in pretty good condition. There is, you know, a little bit of soiling inside, but um, outside, perfect. And it's kind of a gray tweed, and then it's got the Harley Davidson. Um, I wouldn't say it's the typical logo, but it's got a patch in orange and black and white, and it's got the Harley logo embroidered on the back, and it is that kind of trucker, big, you know, hip-hop style. I think that's the 5950 part of it. I'm learning about hats, y'all. I have it listed for $40. You know, the bins is where I really break out of my comfort zone too. So it's a great, it's, it's great. I'm gonna go back, I think on Friday. Another hat, this is a Forever 21 black floppy wool hat, one size new, Boho Bohemian Southwestern hat band. You notice I found some new with tag stuff. I think it's stuff that other people passed up because it was just less expensive mall brands, Banana Republic, although that's not all that cheap. Um, Gap, Old Navy, Forever 21, but I picked up the items that I thought were still really good based on style and the fact that they were new with tags. This was 100% wool and it retails, I think, for 20. I have it listed for 18. This next item, Torrid Plus Size 3X Sleep Lounge Pants, Wide Leg, PJ Pajama Bottoms, Bleach Wash. You know, I can almost always find the Torrid item by the item number, but I couldn't find these. So I don't know what they retailed for, but I have them listed for 20. Super soft, great condition. Okay, so this is a pair of Vans and I only got my hands on these because I got more assertive and I got right up there when they said shop. And I put myself in front of the shoe bin. In fact, this is the point where the lady reached over me to grab something. I don't know what the hell she grabbed, but she whacked me with her arm and that. Anyway, but I did get these and these are Vans Men's Size 12 Chukka Shoes Ultra Kush Pro Jungle Green Camo Low Gum Sole. These looked pretty good on the sell-through rate. I have them listed for $60. This may be the last thing I'm going to go over with uh, you guys. It's not the last thing I picked up. I have some other things I'm still working on listing, but this was a pair of Pearl Izumi women's size EU 38 US 7 W All Road 3 cycling shoe with Shimano cleats. These looked super small. I thought they were a kid's cycling shoe at first. Um, EU 38 in Pearl Izumi translates to size seven, which is small, but it's not as tiny as I was thinking these looked. Um, but they were in perfect condition and I have them listed for 50. They retail for 95. That's 32 items. I have 12 more that I'm working on listing. I think I said I picked up 50. What are the other things I have to list? Um, got some things I need to wash, a couple American Eagle pants, loft, trouser jeans, Carhartt sweatpants, Torrid tee, Urban Outfitters pants, um, you know, bread and butter stuff. That's what I found. I didn't find any like huge, oh my gosh, you know, this is going to sell for a hundred dollars. Um, but I did find a lot of good bread and butter stuff and I had fun doing it. Um, I do enjoy going to the bins. Maybe one of these days I'll make friends with people, but probably not, not as long as they're bumping into me. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my videos, please think about subscribing. I am trying to grow my subscribers. Um, I don't know if I'll continue to do videos uh, forever in 2023, but I am gonna try to get to my one year mark. And you know what I need to be doing? Listing, so I'm gonna go do that now. You keep listing. Very disappointed.
approving of whoever's out there. They didn't approve. I think it's the mailman. Okay, good girl. Good job. Good girl. She's the most excellent girl.